good afternoon. Do you have the premises? Oh, um, yes, good afternoon. Uh, may I have the service desk, please? Yes, just one moment. Thank you. Good afternoon, service moment. Oh, um, good afternoon. I was wondering if it's possible to help. I've got your songbook in front of me. Sing to Jehovah. Are you familiar with it? I beg your pardon? Yes, I'm familiar with it, yes. Yes. Um, there's two editions of the songbook. Um, are you aware of that? There was a black man on the um, back cover and he was removed. I'm going to the call. Goodbye. Don't, don't hang up. I've got such exciting stuff to tell you about your own literature. Um, in front of the black man, there is nothing. It can only be described as a penis. That's on the back cover. Now, following complaints, the black man was removed and replaced with a white man. Are you are you familiar with this? You haven't hung up, so you're listening. Have you are, are you familiar with this? Why on the back? And I'm looking at the giant print, the the large print edition of Sing to Jehovah. I've got both editions, and um, um, I'm absolutely shocked about this. This is disgusting, absolutely disgusting. And not only that, in front of the black man's mouth, there is the sleeve of a boy's shirt or a boy's jumper. And the folds of the boy's purple shirt or jumper or top or whatever he's wearing, it clearly makes the letter S just in front of the black man's lips. The boy's hands that are holding the um, songbook, his little finger is tucked inside the songbook, showing three fingers on the outside, making the letter E. So you have the S in front of the black man's lips. The letter E in, um, is the boy making, holding the hymn book. And then you go above and there's a white woman with blonde hair. She's holding her hymn book in a very unusual way. And I went to the sign language site. And, and I, found, I found this out from another YouTube channel, in fact, but I confirmed it on the sign, the sign language site. Um, if you put your three fingers into the palm of your hand, but you have your index finger up making a little hook, that's the letter X in sign language. So you have the black man. In front of his lips is the letter S. The boy has three fingers making the letter E, he's, he's hung up now, and then in sign language, the white woman with blonde hair, she's holding the book in a very unusual way, she's making the um, sign language symbol for X, S-E-X, and when they revised it, they didn't just um, replace the penis with the white man's arm, and the black man's face with the white man's face, they put the white man's face a little bit forward, to cover up the letter S because they didn't want people to know this. Furthermore, um, there's a little girl. The black man is looking directly at the little girl. And over her private part, she has a bow. Now, I didn't know this, but apparently uh, on women's clothing, a bow, which can sometimes be worn on the shoulder, it's called a pussy bow. But the Watchtower artists have drawn this pussy bow over the little girl's private parts. Look at the little girl's hand. She's holding the hymn book in an unusual way. Um, she seems to have made two fists, and then she's got the knuckle parts of her fingers touching. Apparently, when you um, touch and release and touch and release and touch and release, the, um, uh, that, that, the hand in that shape... I'm obviously not an expert in sign, sign language at all, it needs to be confirmed, hopefully by a court. Um, but if the person makes a fist and then puts the knuckles of the fingers together and away, together and away, together and away, it, it, means, the, it means more. Is that what's happening here? I'm not an expert in sign language. I could be mistaken. Um, but I think it's a, a possibility. One, one final thing. Look at the shapes of all the mouths. All of them seem to be singing the ah sound. Look at the shape of the lips. Ah, that seems to be what they're singing from the hymn book. But not the little girl. She seems to be making the ooh sound. 
Now again, somebody who is an expert in lip reading, and that's definitely not me, needs to look at this and confirm this. But it, could it be that the little girl is making the oo sound? Because that's the um, sound that um, um, adult women make uh, during sexual intimacy. I'm, I'm truly, truly disgusted at the Watchtower Society. And um, I have put up on my other videos, I, I've made mention of the fact that Jehovah's Witnesses, over 40 of them, have told me that the late Queen Elizabeth II ruled the UK by the authority of the devil. Up on the screen you can see some of these um, uh, comments by Jehovah's Witnesses. You can look at individual congregations and you can see um, what the Jehovah's Witness said. Let me give you an example. Um, the very last one, number 38, is Wrexham Congregation. Now that's numbered 473 in my YouTube numbering. So if you wish to find it on my channel, do a search for Wrexham 473. At 10 minutes and 53 seconds into that recording, I asked the question, is the crown under satanic rulership? This was when Queen Elizabeth II was alive. A in brackets means answer. The Jehovah's Witness says, definitely yes, definitely yes. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses are entitled to believe whatever they want to believe, but the cowardly and pathetic British government and all the agents of the British government, including the Crown, the monarchy and the royal family, uh, support the Jehovah's Witnesses having charity status. They get tax breaks. They get financial help from the British government. And yet they say that the Queen rules by the power of the devil. And I have over 40 recordings of them saying this. So why don't you help me? I'm a bit fed up of people posting enthusiastic comments in text. Uh, I never ask for money on my channel. Um, okay, I, uh, it's kind of people to post an enthusiastic comment, but I want more than that. I want people to actually help me. On the screen, you can see the contact details for Buckingham Palace. And the telephone calls. Um, the Royal Information Office has a mobile phone number. The um, Buckingham Palace itself has a landline number. Look, why don't you help me? Why don't you write to Buckingham Palace about this and say you believe Jehovah's Witnesses should be stripped of their charity status? Keep a copy of the letter, and if Buckingham Palace reply, then please let me have a copy of both and a second copy of both with your uh, personal details, such as your address and your telephone number, blanked out. Please do that. Also, you can telephone Buckingham Palace, and if you do that, make sure you have a small MP3 recorder by your telephone so you can record the telephone call. When you're fobbed off by Buckingham Palace, uh, you could tell them that you're going to go to the press because this is a press story. Jehovah's Witnesses say the Queen Elizabeth II and now King Charles, they rule by the authority of the devil. And the British government give them charity status and the royal family and King Charles and all of the royal family, they don't care. So tell them you're going to go to the press and then do that. Um, on my own, I'm afraid I've had no impact. I'm probably just regarded as a lone nut. However, I do reckon that if over a hundred people do this and help me in this, and, and over a hundred people write to Buckingham Palace and then phone Buckingham Palace, come on, if you live in America, surely you can afford one phone call to, to Buckingham Palace. Um, if you then say you're going to go to the press, they're going to take notice if they start receiving many of these phone calls and letters. They can't dismiss all of them. And unfortunately, the press are pathetic. Um, but who knows, if enough people write to the press, then maybe there will be one journalist who will look into this. You can write to King Charles, care of Buckingham Palace, or the late Queen's other children, Prince Edward, Princess Anne, the heir to the throne is the grandchild of Queen Elizabeth II. He's called Prince William. So you could write to any of those 
and all of these people have equerries. Uh, there's also a press secretary for the king and I also believe for Prince William, the Prince of Wales. Um, many of these people have assistants or aides. All you need to do is do a brief search. Please help me. Please do help me. Let's work together and let's try and force the royal family to act and to say that Jehovah's Witnesses need to be stripped of their charity status in the UK because of all the disgusting scandals going on around the world regarding Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, the um, thousands, tens of thousands of people who've died since 1945 due to the ban on blood transfusions. And of course, the sedition that Jehovah's Witnesses have against the British royal family. You don't have to be a monarchist. OK, I'm not making this video. Um, you know, you don't you don't have to be a monarchist. You, you could be a Republican, but you can still write. And you can still say the same thing. Jehovah's Witnesses need to be stripped of their charity status. Why haven't the royal family acted? This is disgraceful behaviour by the British government, the royal family, the charity commission. Thank you.